For the vast majority of you out there, I am just about to say what you pretty much want me to say after seeing this episode. Kyle, what? <laughs> That's right, episode 39 of Dragon Ball Super just landed and whoo, wow, this was a humdinger. A perfect time leap counter. Is it coming? Goku's new technique! Is it really new though? I'm kind of up in the air about that one. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. Goku and Hit's fight was amazing. It had drama, it had tension, it had action. It was lots of moments where you were just thinking, oh my god, what's going to happen next? And really, that's all I need to say about this episode. It was just them two guys fighting, and wow. So yeah, pretty much at the beginning, Goku's just handing it to Hit when he's not using his time leap technique. And now he's just saying, well, I'm bored. Yeah, use your time leap, whatever. Uh, I'm going to go to Super Saiyan sleep now. Hmm. But then, Hit joins the echelons of Dragon Ball villains and heroes by screaming and powering up with a blue aura. It's like out of frustration almost that he can't hit this guy. Actually, <laughs> it's really kind of funny. Goku actually references that by saying, Oh hey, you scream too. How meta is that? That power up, it can hit after two tenths of a second, doubling it. I mean, what is this? Is this just like Freezer's Resurrection F arc again? Wow, this just makes Freezer's golden form training of four months look like ages. And then later on in the fight, it becomes half a second. So it just seemingly is that Hit never really got stronger because he didn't need to. Like the time leap technique was enough. People might think that this is like, well, why? How? How is this like fair? Well, this is kind of like the Zenkai boost that Saiyans have. They get a power boost when they're pretty much at the end of their tether. Super Saiyan transformation, anyone? But damn, half a second now? Even I'm losing track of time here. But then, we get to the best bit. It's what we've been waiting for. We see the red aura, we see the powering up, and sure enough, it's Kaioken! They haven't forgotten about Kaioken! It's been, like, since the Otherworld Tournament arc of Dragon Ball Z since we've seen Kaioken be used. And for good reason. It's actually explained for once, much more than Super Saiyan Blue was. It's because Super Saiyan Blue is all about calming the mind and kind of processing your key inwards. So, key control. Control about everything, so you're in perfect control and synchronicity with your body. Which means that the rage of Super Saiyan no longer applies. It's not induced by rage or anger anymore. So that means you can actually have a clear head and use Kaioken. So combine the two. But then, like, times 10? Kaioken times 10 was Super Saiyan Blue. I feel like I'm in a fan fiction right now. Then you get the main theme playing while Goku's just kicking Hit's ass. And that pretty much means in Japanese, you're fucked. And then just end it with a Kamehameha. <laughs> Boom. Done. Or so we think. It seems like from the previews, there's more to it, so that actually makes it better. It wasn't just a one episode fight. And that's good. Because if this was the last fight in the arc, and this being another one episode fight, then that would have been a bit disappointing. But hey, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. I want to see more of this. Hit's actually quite a cool guy. He's been bored. He's now alive. He's had a chance to actually fight with someone and get stronger. So he owes a lot of gratitude to Goku. And I feel that this is the, not the last time we've seen Hit in Super. Because imagine that. That would be really awesome. Pretty much all the characters from Universe 6 have actually been pretty cool in their own way. In all, yes, yes, this episode was amazing. You might be thinking I'm just all hyped up after just seeing it, but hey, come on. This was Dragon Ball. This feels like a Dragon Ball episode. Fighting, tension, one-upmanship, powering up, Kaioken of all things! Super is now really good! I may have to suspend my disbelief sometimes because of all the convenient powering ups of Hit, but I don't care! And I don't think you should either. But yeah, that's pretty much my fangasm of Dragon Ball Super for this week. Tune in next week to see what happens. Does Champa throw a tantrum? Does Goku lose or does Hit lose? I don't know, and I'm just going to leave it until next week. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and be sure to like and subscribe to this video. But until next time, guys, catch you later.